I'm always uh, struck by how much is made in the media about the Nobel Peace Prize awarded recently, but of how little mention there is of the other four prizes. You may know that Alfred Nobel was a Swedish chemist and engineer famously known for the invention of dynamite. He died in 1896, and in his will he bequeathed almost everything to be used to establish five prizes, physics, chemistry, physiology, that's medicine, uh, literature, and peace. They became known, of course, as the Nobel Prizes, awarded annually since 1901, to those who, during the preceding year, have conferred the greatest benefit to humankind, the greatest benefit to humankind. You may have noticed that amongst this year's science prizes, the extraordinary work was honoured of Skurup Manabe and Klaus Hasselmann. Manabe is a, an atmospheric scientist who's laid the foundations for the climate models now used globally, universally used as we respond to the climate crisis. Hasselmann created the foundations for modelling weather predictions, which are now uh, relied upon globally as climate change accelerates. Among these science laureates, there was a surprising omission. Some people were expecting the work of COVID vaccine creators to be acknowledged, uh, though that will uh, no doubt be celebrated in the future next year. Was this a, a not so subtle message to the world leaders ahead of next month's COP26 International Climate Summit in Glasgow. Certainly it makes the point that the notion of global warming rests on solid scientific evidence. We human beings and those who influence opinion and government can no longer say that they didn't know how or why the earth is heating up. So. I thank God for the extraordinary talent and wisdom and creativity and often sheer hard work, determination and tenacity of so many in the fields of science who've improved life and helped us understand creation better. Debates about religion and science have raged for centuries, yet they should be seen as entirely uh, compatible. The two are essential perspectives which allow us to see the universe properly. The one keeps us grounded in physical reality, while the other prevents us from losing sight of the spiritual. Uh, together, science and religion, they keep us both human and humane. Science takes things apart to see how they work. Religion puts things together to see what they mean, says Jonathan Sachs. Nobel Prize nominees, they normally travel to Stockholm. Not yet this year, though. The White Tie Award Ceremony in the Grand uh, Concert Hall and the Splendid Banquet in the City Hall in Stockholm, all COVID cancelled, of course. Surely, though, it won't have diminished the uh, joy and pride of the laureates having won these most famous of international uh, awards. Let's give thanks for those whose scientific endeavours seek to benefit humankind, as a Nobel had it. And let's pray earnestly as COP26 draws near that governments the world over will listen to the God-given wisdom of scientists. God bless. Have a good day.